Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how to create this nice uh, box hover animation for example for a team section of a website. But before we begin, I would like to apologize for not uploading in the last few days. I was busy with some other personal stuff, but I just wanted to tell you that I am back and I will do my best to try to stick to uploading at least one video every single day. With that being said, let's get started. I have an empty folder here on my desktop, which I opened on my text editor, which in my case is brackets. I'm going to create the index.html file and the style.css and the folder called img for the two images. I'm going to go and grab these images right here and place it in the img folder and I'm also going to open this in my browser, the index.html file. Now go to the index.html file, I'm going to give it a basic uh, structure, change the title to team section. I'm going to link my style.css, oh, style.css, and uh, now I'm going to create a, first of all I'm going to make some space here, now I'm going to create a div with a class of content, inside here another div with a class of content box, so content box, content dash box, inside here I'm going to put an image, I'm going to say img70, I'm going to say for alt portrait. Below this, I'm going to put, uh, actually it was 78, excuse me. Okay. Now, I'm going to put an h2 element and say John Doe. Below here, a p element. I'm going to say lorem, uh, let's say 50. Okay. Now, I'm going to copy this, uh, this whole content box. I'm going to paste it below. I'm going to change this to 70, I'll change the name to Jane Doe, and leave the text as it is. Let's refresh this in the browser, there it is, and uh, now let's go to the style.css. So first some basic styling, I'm going to make some space here. I'm going to select everything with the asterisk, and also do before and uh, after, and say remove the margin and the padding, so margin 0 padding 0, box sizing set it to border box. For the body, I'm going to say font, family, Arial, and sans serif. And the background, a dark gray of uh, 333. Let's see. Okay, now select the div with the class of content, so content, give it a position of absolute, we're gonna center it, let's say top 50%, left 50%, transform, translate, minus 50%, minus 50%, let's see, let's also give it a display of flex, there you go, and now select the, div, uh, the two boxes, so dot content dash box, and I'm gonna say background use RGBA because we also want to set an opacity, so white, so 255 three times, and uh, 0 0.8 opacity. Uh, let's refresh, okay, a padding 50 pixels all around, a margin 0 on top and bottom and 50 pixels left and right, a width set it to 350 pixels, uh, this will give it a display of flex, a flex direction, set it to column. Now, align items, um, center, text, align, justify, okay, uh, border radius, uh, 10 pixels, border, 5 pixels, solid, transparent, and the transition, of 0 0.5 seconds. Okay, this is it for now. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna select the the image inside the content box. So content dash box img. I'm gonna say margin bottom 40 pixels, border radius 50% to make it rounded, border 5 pixels solid, transparent, 
uh, an opacity set it to 0 0.5 and transition 0 0.5 seconds okay and this is it now for the hover effect so I'm gonna say uh, content dash box hover column hover and let's select the image so what will happen to the image when we hover over the box so I'm gonna set the opacity to 1 and the border 5 pixels solid and give it a purple color so uh, 8F35DB let's take a look so when we hover anywhere inside the box as you can see our image uh, comes back to 100% opacity and uh, have this nice border now let's deal with the box so I'm gonna select content dash box column hover I'm gonna say background remember we set the opacity so 255 255 255 now let's set it to 1 so uh, it's uh, full and the border of 5 pixel solid the same color 8F35DB and that should do it let's take a look if we hover as you can see we have the effect I showed you in the beginning all right that is it for this video if you enjoyed it make sure to smash that thumbs up button leave a comment below and share this video that will help me out a lot make sure you have subscribed to my youtube channel and I will see you in the next video take care